Okay, everybody, this is the second part of my last video, which I did not get to finish in time because I have a time limit on my software when I record, record my video. The problem I had in the last was it, it, it complained about something in line 18. I was to, just to remind you what I was trying to do is I tried to use the kubectl explain command to figure out all the little parameters I need to get this CCAD uh, lab done. So these are my requirements again, just to refresh your memory. I was working on the third line of making it non-parallel. So looking at the file again, because I started editing it and then I, I quit in the middle of it. I had, I had left. So first of all, it was complaining about line 18. So I think it's talking about this guy because that was that's what I added. I also added this guy, which you saw in the last in the first first part. I got that from um, from um, running kubectl explain in recursive mode and looking for that word to see what ex how exactly this 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 thing is defined this attribute is defined and, and and where so so that was that so we will try all all at once when, when we added all the requirements the fourth requirement is it should only do once and that is completions and as you can see above there is completion right here and this is under spec again so i should be able to just do just like parall parallelism I can't say that word i should be able to do one completions now else is it is part of the requirement run run parallel or run once back off limit so let's look for backup limit back off limit in in uh, kubectl explain all right so now look for back i back off let's see what we get back so by the c by the way it prints you 10 lines prior to the match and after the match just so this i do this because i so i wanted to know what part of the configure uh, of the api code documentation this particular attribute is part of for example if i didn't do that if i do, didn't do any grip at all right it would print out the whole thing and it's kind of hard to find what you're looking for and but when you, when you do find it through grep you want to know what part it came from so try that again the back off limit is here again under spec and it is an integer so let's copy that let's edit the file again and it should go here and i think it's 20 or 25 really doesn't matter let's just say 25 for now that means it's going to try 25 times before giving up the job all right um what else is part of the requirement let's see not completed i happen to know there's something with the word dead so let's see if i can find that word in the documentation Ooh. All right. Uh, do, do, do. Back off. Active deadline sec deadline seconds, I believe. Any other one could be. And that too is an integer. Okay, so let's grab that and just edit our file here and let's give it a shot 20 or whatever so let's do that let's see if that does anything for us minus f so now i really want to create the job and ta-da it created so if i do k subscribe on job who I got all the details that I already mentioned. Again, the point of this video is when you don't know what attribute to look for in your documentation, in your YAML file, you do kubectl explain, you look for the word, you see above and below to see what part of the documentation came from, you use that to put in the YAML file. Hope this video was useful to you. If it was, please like and subscribe. That helps me with the YouTube algorithm, and I will see you next time.